bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Good morning, my friends, and welcome to Sam's Point Preserve here in Miniwaska State Park. We're about an hour and a half north of New York City here in New York State. I'm super excited for this hike today. Uh, we're going to be seeing all kinds of cool stuff. I've been wanting to check this place out for a long time. It's nine o'clock in the morning. That's when the gates open and you have to pay $10 to enter here. But this is a super popular hiking location and I'll be telling you more about it as we go. It's going to be a very warm day today with feels like temperatures in the mid 90s. Um, we're going to be probably doing about six to seven miles of hiking. That's the plan and as I said, we park at the visitor center. The first stop will be an overlook known as Sam's Point. From there, we should be coming to some formations known as the Ellenville Ice Caves. And then beyond that, we may be walking through a extremely rare pygmy forest, pygmy pine forest, and then onto a 187 foot waterfall. So we're going to have lots of stuff to see today. Right now we're walking through a nice forested section along an old carriage road. And when we get to the top of the ridge line at an elevation of about 2,000 feet, the landscape is going to change dramatically. We're going to go from this mature forest to a globally rare and unique pygmy pine ridgetop forest. And if you are familiar with my channel, you know I love to explore these very unique types of ecosystems. And it's said that most of the trees are no taller than six to eight feet tall, yet they may be hundreds of years old. Can't wait to check it out.
Now, according to Wikipedia, the legend of Sam's Point is that a Spanish explorer named Samuel Gonzalez many centuries ago leapt from this rock. He was being pursued by Indians who were intent on killing him and allegedly he leapt from this rock but somehow managed to land in the trees below and survive and escape. You can take of that what you like. It's quite a story but uh, it is an inspirational spot. It is quite beautiful. We're now entering into this ridgetop forest of pygmy pine with an understory of blueberry and chokeberry and sheep laurel. And this is a perfect example. Reminds me a lot of the New Jersey pine barrens, except we're at an elevation of 2,000 feet instead of sea level. It's really neat. Let's keep moving. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is really cool. Uh, up at Sam's Point, I ran into a couple people that happened to uh, recognize me from some of the YouTube videos. And this was the first time it ever happened to me before. And uh, our first time too. Meet yeah, first with me. I'm Anthony the Plague. Jen Antler. I have a YouTube video too called "Where to Next," and I do the same stuff he does: explore all nature. Yeah, so it was really cool running into him out here. I've never run into somebody on YouTube, and he looked familiar. And here we are. A beautiful day too. Yeah, right. Nice Hello, meeting man. you. Take care. All right, guys. So that was Anthony and Jen, I believe. Um, super friendly people. Uh, super caught me off guard. Uh, I'm kind of like a shy person and uh, I didn't even really know what to say, <laughs> but that was a real thrill. And uh, I guess it shows that it's a small world and all of us uh, nature enthusiasts, we all enjoy coming out to these beautiful places. and. Uh, like I said, super nice people, and uh, maybe uh, definitely go check out their channel, and uh, maybe we'll be seeing them sometime in the future, who knows? But uh, let's keep moving on this awesome trail and this beautiful day. We were at a junction in the road, and we're now heading towards the Ellenville Ice Caves, which is a national natural landmark and the view from the top of this trail is it's a shame because of all the haze but it looks like you're just going to walk right off the edge of the mountain into the into the valley beyond it's absolutely beautiful All right, so we're finally off of that road. And uh, at one point, several decades ago, this area was a like a tourist attraction. Uh, so that's why the road is there. But over time, the uh, park service has allowed it to return to its more natural state. And we're finally descending now on a trail to the ice caves. All right, guys, we're now descending down these man-made st stairs carved through these natural chasms and passageways. It's already starting to feel cooler. 
It's a very moist environment. This is super, super awesome. Let's go check it out. What an epically awesome place this is. This is one of the coolest spots I've ever been to. I know you've heard me say that before, but I mean it this time. Absolutely love this spot. One thing to keep in mind, it's a bit of a pinch point. So I've had several groups come through and kind of block everything up and it's making it difficult to film. So don't think you're gonna pass through this section without encountering some people. It's probably not gonna happen, but it is amazing. super fun section of the trail and as soon as you're back out in the heat you feel it but uh that was awesome i do see a lot of people coming through and they're really unprepared no hiking stick sandals uh that trail is a little tricky there it was very wet so you got to be careful continuing on an interesting tidbit according to what I was able to gather online. These caves were well known to the indigenous people and have been used as shelter and for comfort for thousands of years. So we are walking through history, geologically and culturally speaking. I'm literally blown away by this hike, guys. When I ran into my to uh, YouTube friends there. I, they said this place was awesome. <laughs> I, and I had read the reviews and I had known that it's popular, but nothing I've read or even seen online does justice to how cool this place is. And I hope the video that I can make will show you guys. The ice caves were truly epic. Now we are on the Verkirder Kill Falls Trail, heading to the waterfall, and look at this amazing landscape. This is like a dream for me, walking through this landscape. I've always wanted to walk through a pygmy forest like this. There was a fire back in 2016 
that burned much of this area and you can see many of the trees were scorched but some survive and this forest this unique ecosystem will ultimately regenerate itself now something to keep note of in case i haven't said it before when you're hiking in this type of environment there is no shade so you have to keep yourself well hydrated and they even warn you about this at the visitor center where they literally say from a certain point there will be <laughs> no trees taller than you and that's certainly the case here see now the landscape is beginning to change a little bit as we walk along this boardwalk and we're moving out of the pygmy pine barrens into a landscape of lush ferns ferns and a mixture of some birch trees and larger understory plants All right, well, looks like this section of the trail is now a beautiful little stream. <laughs> uh, this trail really has it all. Amazing scenery, beautiful views. Now we have our own little stream to walk it along. But there's so many rocks here. You can easily hop step over the most of it. Alright, we're continuing on the trail. We've been gradually descending, but now we're starting to, to descend more steeply. So I think we're getting close to the waterfall. I got a trail report from a couple nice hikers that were heading back from the falls. They indicated that the falls had relatively good flow, which I'm kind of surprised, but that's a good thing for us. And uh, I don't know if it's possible if I can dunk my head in the water or something like that, but it is hot out here. and. Uh, feeling the heat but let's keep moving all right guys here we are now at the top of the falls that water is ice cold man does it feel good what a beautiful spot let's check out the waterfall
sorry my friends well that was quite an amazing adventure today we're here at the waterfall it's 2 30 in the afternoon according to my phone it's 93 degrees with a feel like temperature of 106 and we've just had a cloud block out the sun for the moment thankfully what an amazing hike um thanks for coming along on this adventure this is one of my favorite hikes i've ever done couldn't recommend this more highly as a day hike uh with the overlooks and the, the forest views and the ice caves and the waterfall here it's absolutely beautiful um i appreciate you i appreciate you for watching i appreciate those of you that have subscribed and leave comments and if you enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up button it'll help the channel grow and uh this was <laughs> this was quite an effort to get out here today and it's going to be a long walk back without any shade but it was worth it 100 percent and uh i don't think i'm going to do any more filming unless i come across anything really interesting like a, a snake or something but uh until next time guys i'll see you on the trail gator out